attitude, things were going so good with her. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, man. You were just way too deep for Julie. She didn't appreciate art like you do. <laughs> but she just dumped me out of the blue. I mean, I was so nice to her. Whatever, I guess girls just like jerks. Like, sorry I don't wear a leather jacket. <laughs> Am I supposed to apologize because of my white and balanced sneakers? <laughs> no, I refuse to bow down to those who deny my art problems. You know, Brad, it's because nice guys like us finish last. But hey, we're not here to hope around in the well the past. We're going to find you, your dream woman. I don't know. Ah, come on, there's got to be someone you like. What about, uh, what about her over there in blue? Yeah, sure. If my type was shallow, cold-hearted sirens, <laughs> she'd probably just dump me at the first sight of a douchebag in a tight t-shirt. Yeah. Forget it, dude. I'm just never gonna find anyone who appreciates the finer things in life the way I do. <laughs> Infinite chess. <laughs> David Foster Wallace? <laughs> He's my favorite. You won't catch me reading Nicholas Sparks or Cosmo, because I'm not like most girls. <laughs> <laughs> most girls have been mean to me my entire life. Well, you're in luck, you tall drink of water, because uh, I'm nothing like that. <laughs> What's your name, you deep and mysterious man? I'm Brent. <laughs> and yours, my lady? My name's Charlotte, but everybody calls me Charlie because it's unique and also kind of a boy's name, so... <laughs> Indeed it is. So, uh... So, Charlie, uh... Where are you from? Oh, uh, I'm from this small farm in Oregon. My parents were taken by the government for founding a death cult, so, uh... I was left to be raised by the farm animals, so... That is amazing. Oregon is so beautiful. Sorry, what? <laughs> what happened to your parents? Just the part about the deco? You're so funny. Yes, Oregon was beautiful, especially when the moon was out and I could play my mandolin and drink tea out of my mason jar all night long. <laughs> Where do you work? It must be somewhere cool. Oh, just this little folklore bookstore. Oh, I could read every day for the rest of my life. Yeah, just don't come after nine, because that's when my transformation occurs. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> what oh, I feel like dancing now. I'm kind of a free spirit. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, right here is really not interested in any kind of drama. So, it's kind of a little like a bad break. A drama? Oh, I hate drama. That's probably why none of my friends are girls. <laughs> yeah, the only fights I get into are with the absorbed fetus on the back of my head. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that is so unique. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's so interesting. I feel like I can see your soul. Oh, I'm nothing special. I'm just a girl with two eyes, a mouth, two arms. Two legs and kind of a third leg. <laughs> what? That is so amazing. You would never break my heart. I must buy you a drink. What do you like? Lemon juice and a shot of blood, please. You won't catch me drinking black Red Bulls because I'm not like most girls. Dude, Brad, we need to get out of here. This girl is that shit crazy. I don't even think, I don't even think she's human. She's the girl of my dreams, Kyle. She's perfect. <laughs> Your funeral, dude. Yeah, this is me. So what do you say? You want to take these drinks back to my van, maybe cover ourselves in urine and sacrifice a stray cat to vlogger off Sky Lord of the Night? I'm not afraid to play. make the first move, you know, because uh, I'm not like most of <laughs> Your jacket, madam? Lady. Fuck it! 